In this section, you're going to learn how to create a basic grid, how to define how many rows and columns you want to have and which design or layout they should have, so which size they should have, for example. You're also going to learn how to create gutters or gaps between each row or column, and then how to arrange grid items in your grid container to, in the end, really define your layout and how your elements are arranged on the page. After each section in this course, I'm going to try to provide you with some way that you can apply what you learned in that section to really get some hands-on experience and to also find if you maybe misunderstood something in that section. And of course, if you can figure something out, you can always then ask me in the discussions to really make sure you understand each and every concept along the way. Now, I'm also going to add quizzes. Um, throughout the course and of course I encourage you to also do those to really check um, the basic um, low-level knowledge you should have from each lecture. So take action in this course and I look forward to now really dive into code and use the CSS grid specification.